fume hoods in wet benches are not to be used for storage. Sometimes you may have to leave your samples and beakers in a fume hood, for instance, if your sample requires a long treatment in a chemical bath. Place your items in a suitable corner of the fume hood so others can use the fume hood while you are away. Mark your things with a note containing your name, phone number, time and date. Remember that your beakers must have labels showing the contents. Here are a few more tips for safe work with chemicals. Read the appropriate material safety data sheet before you start working with any chemical. When making acid water solutions, remember this rule, first water, then acid. This is extremely important, especially when working with sulfuric acid, since it reacts very strongly with water and will splash into your eyes when you add water. Due to risk of explosion, never combine an acid with a solvent. If you accidentally pour solvent into the acid drain or acid into the solvent drain, inform Nanofab's on-call person immediately. The rescue team has a tool for absorbing the solution. Fast action helps you to avoid a possible explosion. Ensure that your gloves are clean as they can quickly spread impurities around the clean room. You can change your gloves as often as you consider necessary. You should also remember that you are not allowed to work with chemicals when you are alone. Particularly outside normal working hours and during weekends, you must have a lab buddy present. The lab buddy is another cleanroom user who agrees to stay nearby as long as your work requires.